What's up, folks? Welcome back to Pokemon Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color game. <gasps> it's Imakuni time! I wasn't even expecting him to be here right now, but can't say no to Imakuni. He is so cool! Alright, we're gonna do a Imakuni. And then I think we're gonna try and make a grass type deck? Maybe if we have enough grass type energy, we can s switch from fire fighting to fire grass, because we're about to fight the water gym, and it's gonna get. Uh, gross for us pretty quick if we only have fire types. I'm still in shock that we were able to beat Ronald last last game. That was super... I don't know. I feel like, it felt like we weren't getting very lucky. We just kept playing to our outs and got just lucky enough that we got through. What in the world does Psyduck's Headache do? Your opponent can't play trainer cards during their next turn. That's interesting. Alright, well... That kind of sucks. I would have liked to use my bill, but whatever. Machop hit you with a low kick. Boom, boom. Pass the turn. Imakuni. He's so confused. Wow, he's actually doing reasonable stuff this game. He's going to do Fury Swipes instead of confusing his own Pokemon and passing the turn. Alright, you'll get there eventually, Imakuni. Now, you might think that Imakuni would be the best person to... Uh, grind matches against if you're trying to get packs, because he gives you four, right? But you would be wrong, because every third time that you fight Imakuni, he doesn't give you a pack, any packs. He just gives you the Imakuni trainer card. So it's not as good of a rate as you might think. It's, what, eight packs for every three? matches, which would normally be six packs, so I guess it is still a decent rate, but not as good as you might think. And considering he always plays six prize matches, you're probably better off grinding against somebody with uh, fewer prizes than just going that way. So it's only two prizes for two packs, three prizes for two packs, and so on. We got to draw a prize card. I didn't even know that. Imakuni is just not, not a super threatening fight, so... We're not too worried, but it seems like he's just drawing nothing but gas. We gotta wait until he starts drawing, um, what do you call it? I don't have any fire energy left. That kind of sucks. Wait until he starts drawing his namesake card and embarrassing himself by confusing his own Pokemon. Imakuni wants you to play you as a, play himself wants you to play him as a Pokemon, but you can't. Question mark exclamation point. Pokemon flute is the weirdest item. Choose a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile and put it on their bench. I, I can only see that being an upside. It's very strange. I guess maybe in conjunction with Gust of Wind? You could get a Pokemon back from their graveyard that you just killed and then Gust of Wind it to put it back into the, the fighting area and then... I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. So you could kill it again, but it seems like a lot of work. Two trainer cards just to get another KO. Anyway, yeah, so you might have noticed there, when we evolved our Ponyta into Rapidash, it was no longer confused. It's a nice little upside to, um, we have so many Machops. Nice little upside to evolution is that your Pokemon's gonna lose whatever status elements it had. And its HP is going to go up, but it's not going to get its damage counters removed. He's going to headbutt. Don't know why he didn't do that last turn. So he's a very strange trainer. We're going to keep agilitying. He's about to put his last Pokemon into play, so we hopefully we'll be done here shortly. I like Rapidash's agility move. 30 damage is not a lot, but it's decent. And, uh, hmm. Do we have a Charmeleon or just a Charmander in play? Okay, we're just gonna agility again. Basically, it doesn't do much damage, but the ability to potentially not take any damage yourself on the next turn is gonna turn into winning the match in the long run. Aww, my dog is outside the door to the room and she just bonked her nose against the door and whined. She wants to be in here, it's so sweet. But she does like to jump up in my lap, so it should not be great considering I basically have a microphone in my lap right now. Hey, you're pretty good! Booster packs! I'll give you this booster pack, so don't tell anyone I lost, okay? Ooh, we got a Chansey! This is a fun Pokémon. It has... 
whoa, some weird pixel stuff going on in the middle of it. That's interesting how the the little uh, roster algorithm filled that in. Anyway, uh, scrunch and double edge is a uh, flip coin if heads prevent all damage done to Chansey during their next turn. And she has 120 HP, so you can stall the game out for a long time if you start winning those coin flips with what we just got. Good old two for one, our two favorite trainer cards. We now have four Professor Oak and four Bill, so we're ready to play whatever deck we want to play now. We can we can make it work. Quake Attack, that's cool. It's 10, and if you win a coin flip, it's 30. Uh, discard a Fire Energy to use this attack. That's a better Flamethrower than most, but it requires four energy. I think they have the light blue Jinx? That doesn't look like the dark, potentially racist Jinx. Gust of Wind, Grass Energy is good. So I'm going to try and switch into Grass here pretty soon. Kabutops. That's a cool rare. Sharp Sickle. And then Absorb. Remove a number of damage counters from Kabutops equal to the damage done. That's uh, a lot. Persian. Scratch and Pounce. Neat. Yeah. It was such a, such a pain to scan those cards in and put them into video that I'm probably going to only put in the uh, most interesting one, my personal favorites. We used to have a, uh, Charm a Charizard. We had two Charizards from the base set, and we sold them earlier this year for 50 bucks for the pair, which was a little less than market price, but we were never going to play them, so why not? All right, so let's modify our deck. We are going to take out the fighting types. We're not playing any normal types, which is good. We're going to take out the fighting energy, and look at that, we've got 15 grass energy, we're, we're good to go. So you want to play usually around like 22 energy or so. Let's go ahead and go up on Professor Oaks and Bills, and start going down on less good effects. We're not all in on the fire plan, so I'm going to keep energy searches, but not energy retrievals. I don't want the switch, I don't want the pokeball, I don't want computer search. You don't need Pokeball or Computer Search or anything like that if you're playing 4 Bill, 4 Professor Oak, because you'll just dig through your whole deck and you'll, you'll find whatever you need. Alright, we can probably play one less Grass Energy. Alright, so let's look at what our Grass Pokemon do. We got Bulbasaur with Leech Seed. You can remove a damage counter from Bulbasaur, that's cool. Vine Whip and... Ooh, Poison Powder! Guaranteed to poison the opponent. I like that. Let's put some Bulbasaurs in. And I know we have... Uh, Tangla, level 8. These are the ones I like. Three grass energy. We can poison powder. This is kind of a questionable call because that's three grass energy to do that. And we have fire types over here that require double fire energy. So maybe we should reduce our uh, energy costs as much as possible in terms of colored energy. That would be a good way to go, but... Eh. I guess we do have two energy retrieval and a lot of stuff to dig through our deck. I like Arbok as well, but we don't have an Ekans, so we're never going to be able to play Arbok with nothing to evolve it from. We have one Exeggutor, but we don't have any Executes, so it's going to be hard to go too much further into Grass types. Maybe we'll just have to play a little more energy to make this work. Go up to 23 energy. Is there one more Grass type that we can throw in? Who else is good? Weedle has potential to poison. Anything else we want to put in? What else we got? What does Bellsprout do? Vine Whip? Alright. Venonat has Stun Spore and Leech Life. Maybe we should just put in a, a normal type so that we can have at least one Pokemon with low requirements. Where's that, uh... Yeah, here's the, uh... Oh wait, no. It's this one. It's the Promo Jigglypuff. We'll play our Promo Jigglypuff. Why not? Alright, so we're gonna go... I'm going to change the name of this deck. I'm going to call it the Charmander. Okay. Alright, we'll just go uh, Fire and Grass. Fire and Grass deck. Alright, hopefully we now have enough stuff other than our good fire types. Now we actually have a chance at this water gym. Fingers crossed. Alright, so which one is Sarah, which one is Amanda? Because these are the two of the trainers that are the best to grind on. Just realize what I said. Anyway, uh, one of them has, is Sarah and has a two prize match for Coliseum packs, and the other one is Amanda and has a three prize match for uh, mystery packs. So, here's Sarah. Well, I guess we're not going to need to grind 
against her because that's inappropriate. And we already have our four Bill and four Professor Oak, so... Okay, we got a Grass Energy and a Charmander. It's already looking great. <laughs> it's already looking great. We'll put Ponyta in play because Ponyta has an ability that we can use with any color, which is good. Fortunately, we are playing against a Water Trainer, so Ponyta's probably not going to hang around too long. Alright. Okay, we got a Magmar. It's fine. Put that on the bench. Do we want to put an Energy on... Ponyta, yeah. And then I think we're gonna... Well, we can't attack this turn anyway. Let's pass. We'll probably use up at least one of our potions before we use Professor Oak. Finish the turn without attacking, alright. Fire energy is great, too. Let's put that... Is that the good Magmar? I don't think it is. I think that's the weak Magmar. Yeah, it's the less exciting Magmar. So let's put our fire energy on... It's probably still better on the Magmar, unfortunately. Um... And we don't have anything to use a potion on, so I guess... I guess we'll pass again. I think I'm gonna put the fire energy on the Ponyta, because I don't think it's gonna hang around much longer, but... Never know. Alright, well... I guess my opponent's gonna make me look real dumb if I don't start attacking here, so... Boom! Slowpoke. Gotcha. 20 damage. Your turn. Wow, I just realized she still doesn't have a second Pokémon in play. So... Uh, we should have been trying to capitalize on the damage here. Holy moly. Alright, we're gonna evolve, and we're gonna Professor Oak, and we're gonna find ourselves some more fire energy, and <laughs> we're about to start agilitying here. If we had a plus power as well, that would be nuts. So let's bill. Always just use your bills as soon as you draw them. No reason to wait. No reason to wait. Hey, we got a Jigglypuff. Let's put that on the bench. And let's put a fire energy on the Rapidash, and... Agility. Alright, so if she doesn't draw a basic Pokemon, we're gonna go ahead and get those two booster packs. Oh, spacing out. I think all that does is remove one damage counter. Slowpoke is terrible in this game as well as in the uh, video games, so don't be too surprised. Draw a prize and win the match. Yeah, so you can see how playing against her deck is a really quick way to get a lot of Colosseum packs. Ooh, Raichu's cool. Yeah, we'll play that eventually. Kadabra's also great. We're gonna want to play Psychic types eventually. Potion is cool. All right. What's in this one? Another Gyarados. Oh man, Gyarados so good. Maybe we should be playing uh, Water and Grass right now. I'm not gonna rebrew the deck for the time being. So I have some other decks I'm trying to head towards here. Hey, let's duel Amanda. So she's got a three prize match for mystery packs. Hopefully we draw a grass type this time. We got Ponyta, Charmander, and some grass energy. All right, we're gonna put Ponyta into play, put Charmander on our bench, and hope that this build draws us something good. Let's go first. Ah. So Megan and I recently got a new cat. His name is Mr. B. So, a while back, the way this all started is... There was this stray cat that was wandering around our neighborhood. And it was a cutie. He was a real nice little kitty. And, uh... He was super friendly. So we're thinking, like, he's gotta be an abandoned pet or something. And at one point... Ooh, she's a ballin'. Uh, a neighbor came by carrying him and was like... Is this your cat? Did he get out? And then we were like, no, we don't have a cat. And it turned out that she thought we were the apartment two doors down, who had recently, apparently, moved out. So we're pretty sure he was just abandoned out there. But he was such a sweetheart that uh, Megan started feeding him. 10 damage plus 10 more for each of your bench Pokemon. Oh, jeez. Goodbye, Ponyta. Uh, wow. That sucks. A lot. Oh god. Anyway, so it turned out that he had been abandoned by them, we're pretty sure. So Megan started feeding him because he was such a sweetheart, and he would he eventually started coming up to our door and asking for food. And I'm just telling her, like, okay, we we cannot name this cat, because if we name this cat, we are gonna end up 
uh, adopting it. And we do not want to adopt this cat. We don't, we don't, we already had a cat. We didn't want to get a second one because we didn't think they'd get along. So it's sort of like, uh, oh no. That was stupid. Still gonna die to the next attack. Oh well. Uh, so I said, okay, we, we can't, we cannot give him a name. So we were calling him Mr. Big Balls because he wasn't fixed and he had some, some honking balls back in his kitty rear. And it was, this is going disastrously. It's sort of hilarious because what ended up happening was, of course, we did eventually adopt him. And, uh, we're just gonna get waved right out of this game. That really sucks. Wigglytuff, too strong. Maybe our grass types aren't as uh, good against Amanda with her normal type synergy. We'll give it another shot. Anyway. So, of course, we ended up adopting him, and we're trying to figure out what we're going to name him. Because it's, we're at the point where it's like, okay, we're feeding him, we, we should get him fixed because we don't want to contribute to the feral cat population. And uh, so we went ahead and said, all right, we'll, we'll get him fixed. And uh, then I thought, well, if we're going to get him fixed, it's, we're going to be spending some money. We might as well go ahead and adopt him, because it's not cheap to get a, <laughs> a pet fixed. This kind of stinks. Come on, fire energy. Hey, there's one. We got a shot, at least. Anyway. So then it's like, okay, we might as well adopt him. And then we're trying to figure out what to, what to name him. And we've been calling him Mr. Big Balls for like a month and a half. And we just couldn't call, we couldn't think of anything else to call him because every time we looked at him, we just thought, oh, that's Mr. Big Balls. His name is Mr. Big Balls. That's what we call him. And, uh... So that's, that's still his name. Our, our cat is named Mr. Big Balls. This hand kind of sucks. I want to draw another fire energy, so I'm just going to Professor Oak. Uh, but we didn't want to actually call him Mr. Big Balls in front of guests, so uh, we just call him Mr. B. And it's short for Mr. Big Balls. Don't tell anybody I told you that. All right, we're going to kill the Scyther. We'll have to better start this game. Weirdly, she has some grass types thrown in with her water deck, and some normal types too, so... These gems aren't totally exclusive to just one type, so... You have a shot, even when you're playing uh, a type that should be at a disadvantage. So, that is the story of how... Friendship Song! Brought another Jigglypuff out of the deck. Uh, that is the story of how we came to have Mr. B. And he's adorable. Magmar, why not? Uh, need to do anything else. Come on, poison. He's a real sweetheart, too. He's he's super uh, super friendly. As it turned out, though, our previous cat didn't get along with him. Uh, she flat out refused to have a roommate, so we ended up giving her back to uh, her previous owner, who was actually pretty happy to have her back because uh, he'd had to give her up when he moved. And it turned out his living situation had changed again, and so he was able to have a cat again. And he was really happy to get his cat back. And it made us happy, too. Alright, one more prize, and we'll have... What is her name? Jennifer? Amanda. Beat. Mysterious fossil evolved into Ammonite! Praise Helix. Just gonna stick a water energy on and water gun us. Alright. Well, if we can get another point, coin flip, we'll just go ahead and win here. Charmander, sure. Don't even know. Just gonna smog him. I think we're in a good position here. Ammonite's a cool Pokemon. I don't think its evolved form looks different enough, though. In my opinion, Pokemon evolutions are most interesting when it's like Kabuto into Kabutops. You can see the definite similarity. They look like they are connected, but just for some, like Ammonite and Amistar, they look so similar, it's like, oh, the, the wall form is just a bigger version of the small form. Why did I think that was our last prize card? Whoops, I haven't been putting energy on Pokemon. <laughs> Shit! Uh, it just looks like a bigger version with angry eyes. It's like, oh, alright. It's a little silly, but there you go. We're gonna flamethrower here. Keep this, keep this fight moving forward here. Magmar is such a weird, weird-ass Pokemon. 
It's one of the ones where they were like, ah, we have an idea for a Pokemon, but it doesn't really work with anything else, so we'll just make it like a human with, with a butt on its head and flaming ears. And like Stegosaurus spikes? I don't know, man. It's just weird. It's too strange for me. Oops, I lost. Now I'm in trouble. Mystery packs, thanks. Alright, ooh, Raichu. Giga Shock. Choose three of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and this attack does 10 damage to each of them. Wow. That's interesting. For four electric, it does 30 to the Pokemon in play. Hey, another Exeggutor. Vaporeon, Flareon, another Pikachu! Um, yeah, Thrazy, Lightning Energy, cool. So these packs actually have different cards in them. Whoa, Zapdos, four electric. For each of your Pokemon's benched Pokemon, flip a coin. If it's heads, it does 20 damage to that Pokemon. Then it does 10 damage equal to the number of tails times itself. Oh, that's not great. Jolteon. It's cool. Not the good Jolteon, unfortunately. Losing kind of destroys the atmosphere. Oh, so sad. Whoop. Hey, stop! This is a restricted area. Amy, the clubmaster, is resting. Look at her lounging up there. It looks like her head just fell off her sprite. The person resting over there is Amy. Yeah, okay, come on. You must be pretty good to defeat Sarah and Amanda. As promised, I'll test your skills. If you win, I'll introduce you to Amy. This will be a one-match duel for four prizes. Woo! The Sound of the Waves deck. Sounds a little bit like a mixture between waves and Darth Vader. Darth Waves. The Darth Waves deck. Bill, Ponyta, Ivysaur. Hey, we finally got a grass type, but we don't have its unevolved form. Let's see how this goes. All right, we get to go first. Always an advantage. Professor Oak. Cool. Let's Bill. Draw Fire Energy and a Rapidash. That's that's dece. That's dece. Oh, we have another Bill down here. Let's Bill again. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bulbasaur. Hell yes. All right. Put Bulbasaur on the bench. Put Fire Energy on Ponyta. Pass a turn. We're gonna want to get that Bulbasaur out as an Ivasaur as soon as possible so we can start eating these, these water types with grass types. Get away from this type disadvantage against this Lapras. Hmm, I got a choice to make here. I think I go ahead and let me check. Yeah, we want to get three grass energy on our Bulbasaur, so let's start putting grass energy on the Bulbasaur. And we'll evolve the Ponyta just so it lives another turn. See if he... Okay, it's gonna live another two turns. That's pretty great. Rapidash buying us some time. It's nice. If you draw a potion, I will use it. Okay, Tangela on the bench. Charmander on the bench. Potion on Rapidash. That's good. Now we live through another attack. Even if... Uh, he attaches another water energy. We already played... Oh, we have played... We have not played an energy this turn. Do we Professor Oak and try and get a grass energy... We could always stomp. That seems okay, too. Maybe we stomp for one turn before Professor Oaking to look for some grass energy. We do want to get our three grass energy on the Ivysaur before we put it into play, so we can go ahead and start using Poison Powder right away. So that move's going to carry us through this fight real easily. Alright, Rapidash is still getting work done. I'm happy to see that. Oh, another Professor Oak. That's so sad. Alright, let's use... We'll, I guess there's no downside to just Professor Oaking now. We're just going to have drawing another card to discard. So we discard two Professor Oaks this time, because we should have gone last turn. Okay, we got a Grass Energy. We already attached one this turn, so hopefully... Oh. See, if we won the coin flip there, we could have guaranteed to keep our Rapidash around another turn. Oh, yep, and now he's going to put the energy on to finish it off. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Do I want to switch into another fire type to give myself more time to Ivysaur? Eh, let's just throw Ivysaur out there. It's not going to take as much damage as Rapidash did. We'll put a grass energy on it. And we can't do anything because we don't have three energy, so we're going to pass. Put water energy in a Tentacruel. Confuse Ray. Oh, come on now. Oh, really? All right, now we have to win a coin flip in order to avoid doing damage to ourselves. Charmeleon is cool. Let's evolve our Charmander. Put that last gra energy, grass energy on the Ivysaur and win the coin flip. All right. 
So we're gonna kill the Lapras straight out with Poison Powder. Poof! Oh no, it didn't. Lapras is not weak to... That's surprising. How is Lapras not weak to grass? Grass energy, cool. Puts in Shelter, it's fine. I'm gonna have to look at that Lapras and see what is going on. Uh, oh, if heads for vental damage, done the shelter next turn. Annoying. We can still get the poison damage, though. And that's between turns. Magmar's cool. Let me look at this Lapras and see. It doesn't have a... F oh, its weakness is electric. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It had to be one or the other, right? Alright, so hopefully... Damn. Alright, we're not winning coin flips. That's fine. So we're gonna do damage to ourselves. We would have had to... Well, I guess we don't have to win a coin flip to poison with poison powder. That's sort of the beauty of it, isn't it? Oh, he's gonna keep not taking damage. Maybe we should switch just to get rid of this confusion. Because our, um... Our Ivysaur is doing, gonna do work for us. Uh, although, I don't even know if switching gets rid of confusion. Hey, okay. We got there. It's alright. So he won't take any damage, but he will get poisoned still. So, one way or another, shoulder's going down. Oh, you're bringing Lapras back out, really? Plus power. But why? It won't finish us off. That was an interesting choice there. Don't know why they used plus power at that point. It seemed like a bad idea to me. Um, fire energy on the Charmeleon. And we are still confused, which is annoying, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and poison them. Damn it! Well, confusion takes out our Ivysaur. Now we have to put a grass or a fire type out in front of. No, I guess we can just play Tangla. Why not? We'll have to get up to three energy before Tangla can do anything again, unfortunately. So we may not even put energy cards on it. We may just let it soak up some damage for us. Let me check. It does have an attack at 20, right? Lapis is not weak to that, but. Yeah, alright. We'll give Tangla a chance. He's got Bill. So you can kind of see how the strategy of this game goes, yeah? We'll see. What else should I talk about? God damn it. It's fucking confusion, man. So now if... <laughs> uh, now it just seems dumb to go in on the uh, Tangela because if it does damage to itself, we are SOL. So what's... Oh, I can't even retreat it. Wow, for a base... Wow, for a, a basic Pokemon, two is a surprisingly high retreat cost. It's fine. Oh man, that Lapras is gonna be... This sucks. This Lapras is gonna be strong enough to one-shot our Charmeleon if, it, if, he, if they get another fire energy. Or if he puts another water energy on it. Alright, we got Bill, so let's Bill. Energy search, alright. We can go ahead and energy search for fire energy. Just to improve our draws, so we draw less energy cards and more trainer cards and Pokemon cards. Put you on the bench. Put you on the bench. And then... We got a flamethrower. We're gonna take at least 60 on the crackbacks, so hopefully he doesn't have another water energy. Oh, we put it on the Kingler! Oh, you can't add more than 20 damage. So he... Okay, so we're fine either way. He can only do 60 to us this turn. Alright, give me a potion. Yeah, alright, got the potion. We can go ahead and put a fire energy on something else, or should we? Ah, let's... Let's just put another fire energy on this other Charmander. And we'll finish this guy off with a flamethrower. Oh shoot, I guess it only had 30 left, we put a slash to there. It's fine. Leech Seed, cool. Puts Kingler into play. I guess it's got, like, Vice Grip or something. Yeah, Crab Hammer is gonna finish off the Charmeleon. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, fuck! It's not fine, we just lost. <laughs> Whoops! Alright, I'm gonna cut out uh, this next bit, and uh, we're not gonna do the rest of the fire... We're not gonna do the rest of this with a fire-type deck. We're gonna have to try something else. So, uh... Yeah. Give me one second. Okay, so... I've, re I've changed it over to a Grass and Electric deck. Pretty much the same cards, 
uh, as far as trainers go, but we're playing some different Pokemon. We're playing Bulbasaur, Ivasaur. We're going to play Niran, female, which has Fury Swipes, which is nice grass-type attack for one energy. We got Stun Spore on our Oddish. We got Poison Powder on our Gloom, which is just an attack that just gives poison, which is nice for only a single green energy. We still have our Tangela. We also have the other Tangela, which has Stun Spore and a Poison Whip, also guaranteed to poison. We've got Scyther. He's got a cool setup where he has Swords Dance for green and then Slash for three of anything. And you can use Swords Dance to double the damage of the next Slash, which is nice when used in conjunction with like plus power or something. And then some uh, Pikachus and Raichus and a few Rattata to fill out the deck because we don't quite have enough good grass types for the whole deck. All right, so let's try this again. This time with grass Pokemon. Grass and electric Pokemon, even for the Laprases. All right, so we got a lightning. Well, we got a. Can I check here? Yeah. Stun Spore. Oddish goes into Sprout. Search a deck for a basic Pokemon named Oddish. Yeah, let's uh, let's put the Tangela out there, huh? And we'll go ahead and put the Oddish out there. Ooh, opponent does not have another Pokemon on the bench. We could get a quick kill if we're lucky. Puts a water energy on the shell there. Hides in the shell! And fails. Alright, so we get to Stun Spore. Hey, Ivysaur. That's a grass Pokemon. Um, we can energy search out another grass. Oops, that's a Rattata. Another grass energy. And boom. Let's see if we can get a Stun Spore. Nope. Alright, so he's, he's going to get... A couple more chances to get out of this. Or he's gonna get a couple more chances to get out of this. Okay, put Seal on the bench. We're in for a real match. It's fine. It's gonna try and hide in the shell. It succeeds this time. Annoyingly. What would we draw? Lightning energy. Alright, so in order to use Poison Whip, we need two Grass energy. So let's go ahead and put another one on. And... Just Stun Spore again. Let's see if we can paralyze him. Nope! No luck for us today. Shelter apparently also is one of the ones that's weak to electric because uh, we're not getting double damage. Damn it, he used energy removal on our Tangela. That kind of sucks. It's basically just it, we lost a turn basically because we didn't do any damage to his Shelter. And our Tangela doesn't even have the energy we attached to it anymore. Huh. Well, I'm kind of annoyed that our Tangela doesn't have enough energy to do. It's better move here, but it's fine. The shell is still not receiving damage because it's hiding in the shell successfully. All right, now's our chance. We've got to draw some grass energy. Another Rattata, huh? Nothing to... All right, we'll Professor Oak. I want to find grass energy. You gotta sort of weigh the value of the cards in your hand versus the cards you'll likely draw. Go ahead and use our bill. Draw a bonus card. Let's put Nidoran on the bench. Great Pokemon. Another bill. Oh, that's incorrect. I should actually be using my energy searches first if I don't want to draw energy with my bill. Just because there's less energy in the deck, I'm less likely to draw one. Let's see how this goes. All right, now we're gonna successfully poison whip. He will get poisoned and die. And he still only has the seal on the bench, so we may still be in a good spot here. Use Bill. He's got to find another basic now, right? Yep, Lapras. All right. So we're going to get an electric type ready to fight that Lapras so we can take advantage of its weakness to electricity. Ooh, Cypher's cool. Put him on the bench. Let's check our bench. Whoa. Oh. That's interesting, so you can just read the cards in your hand? Eh. Uh, fair enough. Alright, um, our Pokemon. We don't have an electric Pokemon, do we? We don't have one in our hand either? We didn't even draw one! That is, that is weird. Alright, well, I guess we'll give it one more turn. Seal, also apparently weak to electric, not grass. It's fine. With the guaranteed poison. We're doing basically 30 damage a turn. Oh, look at that. Right as I say it, he full heals. So annoying. Just gonna keep headbutt. Seal, seal. Grass energy, huh? Hmm, 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 hmm. I am tempted to Professor Oak a second time to try and find 
an electric Pokemon. <laughs> discard our hand of eight cards, though. Alright, let's just put an energy on the Rattata and give it one more turn. I'm gonna draw... I guess we only have four in the deck, but, I mean, it's Pikachu's. Let's draw Pikachu, man. We can use it against the Lapras. Tentacool! Cowardice! At any time during your turn before you attack, you may return Tentacool to your hand. <laughs> sure! Seal retreated. Uh-oh. We're gonna take... Ah, oh, come on now. Alright, we're not confused. Outstanding. Hopefully he doesn't have another full heal, and we can just go ahead and stick... This is ridiculous. Alright, Professor Oak! Come on, Electric-type Pokémon. Let's do it. I didn't like that hand. Draw a new one. Pikachu! Yes! Put Pikachu on the bench. Put Lightning Energy on the Pikachu. And go ahead and poison the Lapras. I like how the, the little line just reaches over and is like, bloop! Gotcha! Reach out and touch someone. Crabby on the bench. Hmm. Water energy on the Crabby. Interesting. If we end up getting confused, I'm just gonna not attack with Tangela, because it only adds 10 damage. And we're already doing 20 a turn with poison. Or 20 for each turn cycle, really. Another lightning energy on the Pikachu. I'm not gonna Professor Oak again. That would be a little greedy. So, whoop! The way that the vine reaches over and smacks him just cracks me up so much. Crabby evolved into Kingler. That kind of sucks. He's gonna Vice Grip. No, he doesn't have enough energy to Vice Grip. Alright, Kingler. Are you weak to Grass? You're weak to Electric as well. Well, we'll go ahead and put another Lightning Energy on the Pikachu in case we draw our Raichu, but we're gonna stay on the Poison Whip plan. Like I say, the guaranteed damage is just one of the strongest things you can do in this game with Grass-type Pokémon. The Poison is so effective because it gets through all the other random stuff that prevents you from doing damage like you would expect you would do. Like, oh, I'm confused, and I lost the coin flip, or, oh, I got paralyzed, or, you know, just so many things that can happen that are out of your control with coin flips. Whereas, once you can get a move that guarantees the opponent will be poisoned, and let's say have a full heal, you just gotta wait it out and you'll win. Now he's gonna flail. For 50! We gotta watch out for that flail. It's pretty powerful now that the Kingler has so much damage on it. But Pikachu, not even gonna have to deal with Kingler. Poison's gonna do that for us. Puts Tentacru Tentacool out. Is his bench empty? No, not even close. All right, Scyther. Scyther, you get to go on the bench. You get to have a Grass Energy. Oh, we have two Scythers. Sparkum. Choose a Pokemon on the dent on the bench to give damage to. Okay, how about uh, how about Seal? So, we do 40 to Tentacool, and 10 to Seal. Draw prize, pass the turn. Yes, there's a Pinsir in our deck. It's actually considered a Grass-type Pokémon, even though it's a bug. They sort of got uh, rolled into the Grass-type in this game. Took 10 damage. We'll get there. Actually, we're gonna get there right now. We're gonna knock out the Seal and the Lapras for the Rubbins. 40 damage here. Seals here. Knocked out. We'll draw two prizes, but we only have one prize left! I'm so glad the game didn't crash because of that. <laughs> Seems like the kind of corner case that a developer might miss. What? How could I lose? We received some mystery packs. Ooh, we got an Articuno. That's cool. Freeze Drive. Flip a coin in its head so the fan Pokemon is now paralyzed. Because Freeze is not a status ailment in this game. It doesn't exist. If heads this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and if 10... If Tails it does it to your Pokemon? Ugh, forget that, man. Is that the good Jolteon? Nope. Uh, Omanite. Another mystery pack. Ooh, we got ourselves a Lapras. That's cool. Mr. Fuji? He's a weird card. Just takes a Pokemon from your bench and puts it into your deck again. I guess it empties up bench space, but that should never be a problem for you if you're thinking ahead of just a little bit, you know? All right, he's whispering, What? You lost? How could you? Question mark, exclamation point. Was it Poncho? I will be your next opponent. Amy, Master of the Water Club. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just hoping I can stick a Pokemon that's effective and ride, the, ride it to victory here. See if we can go first and just start Pikachuing. All right, she's going to mulligan a hand with all evolved Pokemon and a Breeder. So she's playing Pokemon Breeder. 
So that means that that's a trainer card that lets you take a basic Pokemon and go straight up to evolutionary stage 2. Ooh, we got a good tangle up, but we got the wrong kind of energy, so we're gonna turn one Professor Oak, which is a little sad. Because if we can get three green energy... Well, damn. If we can get three grass energy on our Tangela, we can ride it to victory because it'll build 20 damage and it'll have guaranteed poison. Bloom. Goodness gracious, this is bad. Alright, well, Potion? Our hand is not great. Professor Oak should hopefully improve it. Discard our whole hand. Draw seven more. Give me some grass energy. Alright, on the Tangela. Got some basics for me too. Nidoran. Pinsir. Yes. Bill. More energy cards would be good. Oddish energy. Sweet! Pass the turn. Alright, things are looking up a little bit now that we have uh, <laughs> drawn some more cards that are actually useful. Goldine's not too much of a threat here. We've got another potion, which is great. Another grass energy on Tangela. We should put Oddish on the bench. Still have a lightning energy. We still need an oops, we still need another grass energy before we can poison powder. Hey, we want a coin flip. How about that? Goldine, apparently. Weak to electric, not grass. Doesn't matter. With paralysis, she's probably gonna... Oh, she's evolving her Squirtle. Oh, come on. Fuck off with the energy removal, man. That is super annoying. Super effectively annoying. We drew Bill. It's like drawing two cards this turn. It's great. Energy and Professor Oak. All right, whoa, whoa. Let's just put the grass energy down. I don't want a Professor Oak just yet. I don't want a potion just yet. Let me check what War Turtle is going to do when he comes out. For three, he can do 40 if he bites us, so... We probably do want to just use the potion now, even though it only does one damage counter instead of the maximum of two. We can go ahead and... Dang it. Oh, doesn't matter. Dead anyway. Go ahead and take out this Goldeen. Draw a Bulbasaur. That's cool. We got some Ivysaurs in hand. Yep, sure enough, the War Turtle came out. Are you gonna put you got the third energy for it? Alright. I'm glad we decided to use the potion, because now if we draw grass energy, we get to poison the war tornado. Sweet! Alright, Bulbasaur on the bench. Grass energy on the Tangela. Get another potion, that would be nice, but alas. War Tortoil! We take 20 and get poisoned. So, he's gonna knock out our Tangela, but it's okay. With the poison on there. And knocking out one Pokemon, the Tangela did its job. We gotta contend with this bite attack now, so I think we put Nidoran in, because it can live through a bite. And if we get lucky with Fury Swipes, we just gotta get two coin flips to go our way. We'll be okay. Alright, I don't wanna use lightning energy, so I'm gonna go ahead and Professor Oak again. You see why these cards are so powerful? Just so much card draw. We just dig through our deck and find exactly what we need, which in this case, is there an energy search? Yeah, right, so energy search. We'll get another grass energy. That's cool. And we can fill. Two Pikachus! Cool. Which is the better one? This one, I believe. Put it on the bench. Grass energy on the Nidoran. And we gotta win two coin flips. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's one. Oh, that's bad luck. I mean, it's average luck, really, but it's okay. Our Nidoran does live through one bite, so she may even switch out to avoid the poison death. Yep, retreated to the bench. One water energy. That's fine. Now we want to start putting on some energy on an electric-type Pokemon so we can start taking advantage of more type weaknesses. So let's lightning up the Pikachu and go ahead and Fury Swipes again. I don't really like the coin flip attacks very much, because, yeah, you see a lot of time it's just like, oh, it does 10. Could have been 30, but it was 10. Uh, so, so variance is so high that you have to be lucky. And I don't like to have to be lucky. I like to try to be lucky, but I don't want my strategy to depend on it. Alright, we got another grass energy. We'll go ahead and put another lightning energy on the Pikachu. And I guess we just uh, keep fury swiping the Lapras. We'll get our money's worth out of this Nidoran. I don't mind coin flip attacks when it's things like Big Explosion, where you get to flip 10 coins, because then it's it's good no matter... Even if you do... Even if you have terrible luck, it's probably still okay. And Big Explosion is particularly good because... 
it does 20 damage for each coin instead of 10, which is what our Fury Swipes is doing. Is there any reason to put more electric energy on this Pikachu? Probably not yet. Let's put Grass Energy on something else. Probably Ivysaur would be good. Come on, Fury Swipes. Let's do damage. Ugh, just 10 every time, man. It's so sad. We're going to leave Nidoran out until it, uh, dies, because I don't want to waste the grass energy switching into the Pikachu. And I'm fine if this game goes kind of long. We got another energy. That's cool. Another grass energy on the Ivysaur. And we'll Fury Swipes. At any point here where we could just get lucky and do, like, 30 damage, that'd be great. There's 20. I mean, what? Three quarters of the time, it's either going to do 10 or 20. Only one-eighth of the time will it do 30, and only one-eighth of the time will it do zero. Mm, we're now officially behind in prize cards, but it's okay, because we now have the type advantage. I guess I'll put down this other Pikachu. Why not? And we'll put a lightning energy on it, and we'll spark him. And we'll go ahead and do some damage to the War Turtle to knock it out. Isn't that nice? 40 there. 10 there, doesn't apply weaknesses. So we draw two prizes, and just like that we are in the lead. Ooh, and we got the Raichu, I'm excited about that. We're gonna put some more electric energy on this Pikachu now. She's getting her bench ready, gonna horn attack us, it's fine. All right, let me see what this Raichu does. Agility for 20, Thunder, three. All right, that's fine. We'll go ahead and evolve. We'll go ahead and put another lightning energy on. And we'll agility. It still counts as an electric type attack, keep in mind, so it's pretty good. Boom! We did not win the coin flip to be invulnerable next turn, but it's still pretty good. Super energy removal! That blows! Wait, what? Okay, so she's taking a war an energy off a war turtle in order to take two energy off of our Raichu. That really sucks. <laughs> now our Raichu's not doing much because we need three energy to even use an attack. Hmm. Our deck is getting a little bit low on cards, too. How much to retreat? Just one to retreat the Raichu? I may just switch into the Ivysaur. Does Poison Counter just win? Yeah, it just kills that Pokemon, at least. Alright, so put the energy on the Ivysaur. We're gonna retreat. Bring out the Ivysaur, and we'll Poison Powder. And it's guaranteed to poison, so we'll finish off the Sea King here. I think that puts us in pretty good shape. Here comes the War Turtle. She's only got one card left in hand, too, so... If heads prevent all damage... Alright. We get to do damage and poison the War Turtle, which is great. We'll go ahead and uh, start putting energy on the Raichu again. It's just in case we need to switch back into it. Alright, 20 plus poison. Here we go, buddy. So that's a two-turn clock. What you got? Oh, that's a great draw. As often as you like, you can put energy on it. So she's going to go up to three and Hydro Pump. 40 damage plus 10 more. It's actually not that great. Although it, has, it does have so much health now. She's out of cards, which is cool. We get to go get an Electric Energy if we have any left. We only have nine cards left in our deck, so we have to be careful not to deck ourselves. Uh, we don't want to draw our whole deck and lose. So we're definitely not going to um, use that last Professor Oak. <laughs> it would be very bad. 20 damage and poison. We have to re-poison it because the evolution cured it. Now this is going to kill our Ivysaur. But with the poison on it, I think we're still in a pretty good spot here. We get to put our Raichu back in. And... Oh, wait. Let me see. I think this Pikachu might actually be a better call because it has Gnaw, so we can go ahead and be sure to be able to attack. Yeah, if we don't have Electric Energy, I don't think we could attack as well with the other one. But we'll go ahead and put this last Grass Energy on the Raichu so we can at least use Agility. So let's Gnaw. Deal 20, and then it'll die to Poison. We gotta draw one more prize card. I don't know how many Water Energy she's got left. She put all of hers onto... Oh, she drew one. She put all of them onto the Blastoise to make its attack do more. 
Alright, check. Weak to electric, huh? Alright, we're gonna leave Pikachu in then. We don't have very many cards left in our deck. Oh, actually, never mind. Put another energy on Pikachu and just win. 10 damage to ourselves, doesn't matter. We won the coin flip anyway. Boom! Goodbye, Goldeen. Thanks for playing. And we beat Amy! Earned ourselves the water medal. Life is easy when you have the type advantage. Oh no, I lost! Question mark exclamation point? Well, since I lost, you can have this water medal. This should get you a step closer to inheriting the legendary cards. Yay, we got the water medal. Here, you can also have these. Laboratory packs. Fuck yeah, Polyrath. Tentacruel's cool. Another good guaranteed poison move. What else we got? Who Haunter. What does this do? Transparency. Whenever an attack does anything to Haunter, flip a coin if heads prevent it. Wow, that's cool. And then a guaranteed attack to put your opponent to sleep that also does damage. That goes really well with some of the attacks I know Gengar has, like Dream Eater. Come see me again. I like to duel you. All right. And she just like plops back onto her bench. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.